Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is Back to Basics Part 12. There you go, just on time. We'll be learning the basics of ATC communication. The default ATC communication in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Learning how to use it, learning how to understanding a little bit of airport navigation on this. I'm going to touch on the basics of that. But it's mainly to do with the basics of ATC following their commands and using it correctly, using your radials and all that good stuff. We'll be taking a fly around Heathrow and then landing back following ATC instructions. This is going to lead on to future videos. Videos to do with VATSIM, so that would be player controlled ATC. So we really must learn the basics of ATC before advancing to more advanced stuff. Okay, that's enough of an introduction. Let's not dilly dally. Let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are at ramp 595 at Heathrow Airport, if you want to follow this to the letter or to the T. Got my Cessna started, pretty and pink again, live multiplayer North Europe server, live weather as well. It's a wonderful day in London today, it's burning outside, absolutely lovely. Okay, so a couple of housekeeping things for ATC here. Let's just go over them. Just ensure, just go to the top here. On both Xbox and PC, this will work, by the way. Go to your ATC button. Oh, not ATC button, sorry. Go to your Flight Assistant button on menu there. Make sure that you've got uh, ATC communication turned off AI radio communication. You don't want your AI controlling ATC here, so make sure that's turned off. Make sure you've got ATC voices on. Now, let me just see. Is that an assistant options and user experience? I believe it is. ATC voices. Make sure that's on. And basically, you're controlling ATC. And you can hear ATC when it starts chattering, of course. That's important. Now, like I said, we're at runway 959. I do have little nav map running. I also have, let's just see if this works and doesn't break Flight Simulator. I googled a chart for London Heathrow, an airport chart, and it was actually in Google Pictures. So it gives you all the runways like taxiway B, taxiway A. We're roughly around this part currently. So we're on taxiway E, I believe. And you'll see when ATC gives us commands later to get to, the, to our chosen runway, we're going to follow the taxiway that it gives us. And this is good practice to do. Do download a chart. I've actually downloaded this airport chart and study it. I'm not sure if it's absolutely up to date, to be honest, but it gives you the main sort of taxiways and holding points and goodness knows what and runways there, that type of thing. I've also got little nav map running as well. And as you can see, where's our aircraft? We are. Here. So we're here. So like I said, it's roughly where I showed you on the chart before. And it's going to taxi us. I'm basically going to request to take off in a westerly heading. Typically, it will ask us to taxi to runway 27 right, as you'll see in a moment. So I'm going to refer to, to a little bit of little ma nav map as well. Don't worry if you're on Xbox, you can't use little nav map on Xbox. So I'll show you my video in the top right there if you want to know what little nav map is. You can still use it on a PC, but it won't track your progress on the Xbox, I don't believe. But it does work on PC. And it's just good practice, really, to see where you are in the airport and get used to airport navigation. Let's get back to the sim. Another important thing. Go to your control options. And you can either do this on your flight control. As you can see, I'm using the Mac 2 joystick. Link to that video in the top right as well. Uh, but... On the keyboard, if you go search by name here, 
click in the box and just type in ATC. Set up a, a button for display ATC. You can do it, either do it on your flight controller or the keyboard. I've got it set to keyboard. I've just pressed A. I cleared anything else that A was set to or anything that would change or trigger if I pressed A in the aircraft and just said display ATC. So I've just pressed uh, my key button. Key uh, key button A will just display ATC. Have something like that set up. And obviously what that does, if I press A, it will just bring up all the ATC communication there. Okay, while I've got it brought up, one thing you should do before you start requesting taxes and goodness knows what, get the weather information and a little bit more information as well, as I'll show you, by tuning in to ATIS. Now, ATIS is 121935. I could click that button there. What I want you to do, actually, or what I'm going to do personally, is actually tune it in using the radios, because I want to get used to using these radios. They'll be important when we come to VATSIM, player-controlled ATC. Another thing with this, before I go forward, these are the basics of ATC and Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's more to learn, but these basics should get you up and running, at least. So, 121935, I can use the outer knob to change that COM1 number there, the standby number, to 121. The inner knob to change this number after the decimal, uh, 935. Is that 935? My eyes, 905, isn't it? 905. 121, 905. I... Oh no, it's ground. What am I looking at? 935. I do apologise. <laughs> it just wasn't paying attention. That was right the first time. 121, 935. And swap that to make it active. And look what happens. Gives you the weather conditions. Altimeter, it gives you that. We'll come back to that in a moment. In That's important. In use. You have India. So there's a couple of things that were important there. It gave us the active runways in use at 27 right and 27, 27 left and 27 right. Those are the ones in use for takeoff and landings. The other runways coming in the other di uh, direction, so runway 9, left and right, is not in use. So just keep that in mind. So if you're taking off and landing, we're going to have to take off and land at either runway 27 right or runway 27 left and land on them as well. It also gave us the altimeter or altimeter. So altimeter 29.94. So what I can do there, I'll just turn that back off again. Otherwise it's going to type talk over us. I'll just zoom in on our altimeter here. Our altimeter. And 2994, it's roughly there. 2994, it's roughly set up, so we don't need to alter the altimeter there. That's fine. Also gave us a cold work, so if we contact now, I'm going to tune in to ground, and I'm just going to use the shortcuts here. And I'm going to ask for a west departure, a taxiway to a west departure. And there's going to be important information uh, told to us here or relayed to us. But because we we tuned into ATIS, we got the cold word, which we'll, we will repeat here. I think it was India, wasn't it? Let's just see. We'll depart west. Ground Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf yeah, Sierra. India. Ready yeah. to taxi west departure with India. And you're going to have to acknowledge that, otherwise she'll keep migrating you, or pestering you. So acknowledge taxi clearance. Taxiing hold 
short runway, 27 right, using taxiway, Echo Golf Box Trot Bravo Lima 21 Alpha Alpha Tree Alpha 2 Cross Runway, 27 right, Alpha 1 Cessa X-Ray Golf Sierra. So what she's effectively asked her to do there is taxi towards runway 27 right using taxiway EGFB. Let me just switch you to the chart that I showed you before. That's I downloaded from the internet. So taxiway, we're roughly... Oh, let's use this one. We're roughly here on taxiway E. So E, so she's asking us to go to from E to G to F to B up here. So we're here, roughly. So from E to G to F, taxi up here, along taxiway B. Now, I'm not going to switch you back because uh, I, I don't want to break OBS. But it, she then asked for, uh, to go to link 21, A, A3, A2. Link 21, which I believe is here. And then on to A, A2, A3, and then cross the runway and come back to A1. Sometimes ATC gives you bizarre instructions. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to taxi up to where we link 21, up to here to hold short of runway 27 right, and then contact tower. Rather than go on the runway, cross it and come back. Doesn't make sense. So the default ATC it can give you some sort of errant instructions sometimes. If that happens, if it asks you to cross the runway you'll be taking off from, just hold short of it. I'll show you that in a moment. I can show you that in a little bit, maybe better detail with little nav map as well. So we're here. It's gonna we're gonna taxi along here, taxi along runway B here, until we get to link 21, which is here. It actually shows it in a bit better detail here. Link 21, or here maybe. Pop onto A, A3, A2, and I'm gonna hold short rather than come back to A1. So that's a better visual way. We'll refer to little nav map a little bit, just so you get used as the aircraft taxis along. Just so you get used to where it is on the airport. It's actually great to use for airport navigation as well. Okay, let's switch back to the sim. Now, I'm going to cover uh, airport navigation and how to taxi in more detail in a future video. I'm going to make things slightly easy. We can hide ATC for now. Come back to our default view. I'm going to make things slightly easier for us. I'm going to bring up, I'm going to press escape, go to assistant options. A lot of you may know this already. Navigation aids and put on the taxi ribbon. Basically, it'll give us a taxi ribbon showing us exactly the way to go. Until you get used to it, I highly suggest you do this. You may have to go outside the aircraft to see where that taxiway is. I believe it's behind us. It is. So we need to taxi along there, and I'll show you with a little nav map where we are once we progress along there. Okay, first thing first, though, let's get pushed back. Uh, so we go to ground services here, and request pushback. Ground Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra requesting pushback. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra pushback request accepted. Okay, so it should... I want to push back to the left here, so my aircraft will go in this direction, just so I can get on this taxiway here. But I'll wait till... Sh well, actually, I can go left straight away there, can't I? Ground Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra, requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra, your request has been transmitted to the operator. And default ATC does a decent job. It gives you some errant uh, navigation with taxi sometimes, as you just saw. I'm just going to show you how you fix that. Rather than cross the active runway, we're just going to hold short of it and then contact tower. Makes more sense. So you can adapt it on the fly, and I'll show you that. Okay. Tug attached. Oops. A jet just uh, spawned in right next to me there. That's okay. The joys of live multiplayer. And once we start pushing back, it takes a while for it to stop. 
Well, there we go. That's perfect. Okay, so now that's happened, we can get on our way. I've still got my parking brake release. Sorry, guy, I'm going to chop your head off because you're not getting out of the way quick enough. There we go. I'm going to Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> oh, well, one or the other. And then we can get... Let's get back in the cockpit so we get a better visual idea of where that taxiway is. There we go. And I can hide the ATC by pressing my A button on my keyboard. That's, as I showed you before, that's the way I've got it set up. Just going to test my brakes. The Cessna 152 <laughs> rockets along with very little throttle. That's, or very little throttle on my Raptor Mach 2, at least. So you don't need much throttle to get going. As you can see, we're relatively speeding along, so I'm just using a little bit of brake there. Don't have my rudder pedals with me in London currently. Don't have my Velocity 1 with me, which is painful. I do hope to bring my Velocity 1 and radio panel when I get into ATC uh, VATSIM. I believe the radio panel will come really come into its use there, and I'm eager to use it more. Okay. But that'll be a future video. Just get used to these basics first, and then we'll get to that later on. As I'm getting used to these basics, as I research and study these videos, it gets me used to them as well. So we're taking this journey together. Don't worry. Okay, let's just hold short there. I'm just going to put my parking brake on. It doesn't matter. And we'll switch uh, your screen to a little nav map. And let me get into a little nav map as well. So we're here. So we've taxed along here. And we're going along this long B. As you can see, we're here now. We'll be taxing right along here. Right up to link 21. A3, A2, A... Well, A3, A2 in, in our case. So it's a good... If you've got a little nav map, it actually shows you where you are in the airport very accurately. So let's just go to Flight Simulator and continue with the taxi. And if any traffic comes up on the way, uh, at least AI traffic, the ATC will call you back and say just hold short for a while, which is nice, a nice touch. You've got a truck in front of you or a bus that's going around in circles, <laughs> typically. So there we are. Lots of people on. I'm recording this on Sunday about 12 noon UK time. It's a busy day. Sunday's always a busy day in Flight Sim. It's great to see so many people are still enjoying it. Fills me with pride, even though it's not my simulator. <laughs> it fills me with pride to see this many people enjoying a flight simulator. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? So there we go. We'll carry on at a brisk uh, pace. Because it's a fairly long taxi. Oh, not too long now. We are zooming along, as you can see. Nigel Mansell is a Cessna 152. If, uh, for those who don't, don't know who Nigel Mansell is, he was a Formula 1 driver back in the, what was it, 80s, 90s. He actually did a bit of NASCAR as well, I believe, and won this first championship, his rookie year, I believe. Well, if not the first year, the second year. Anyway, excellent driver. Back in the day. Right, there we go. So we're coming along. Whoa, 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 Cessna 152, my goodness. Tiny bit of throttle, maybe a fifth of my throttle lever is engaged there, and it's just zooming along. Eek, 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 it's just slowed down. I know you're eager. My little Cessna wants to get up in the air. He's saying, come on, come on, come on, it's a beautiful day, what are we doing? Okay, that's a little bit better. Break a little bit while we turn there. And a little bit more, because you still want to go, don't you? You still want to go, little Cessna. Okay. 
we'll be coming up on the holding short. So instead of following, crossing over the runway and then coming back to A, once we get, it's quite clear the signal where to hold for runway 27 right. And I believe we're just coming up to it. So at this point, if you have a little nav map running, keep referring to it so you can see where you are. There's the holding point for runway 27. Right. So we can stop there. Stick on my parking brake. And then we can contact tower and then go for a little fly around. Okay, we're holding short of runway 27 right, as you can see there. Some aircraft just taking off in front of us, so I'm just being polite there and just letting him go. So what we do here now? Let him just taxi on that runway. Oh, let me just hide ATC for a moment. Let's just see what this chap's doing. It's not one of our Discord members, is it? Nope, don't think so. Or don't recognise the name, I don't believe. Anyway. Bring back ATC, looks like he's on his way. Uh, back to clearance here. Tune to tower, that's what it asked us to do before, remember? When ready, tune to tower. And request takeoff from tower, takeoff clearance. Tower Cessna, Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, ready at runway, 27 right west departure. And just acknowledge that. Clear for takeoff runway two seven right Cessna X ray Golf Sierra. All right, there we go. So we can get onto the runway now. And cleared for uh, west departure. Keep that in mind. We're departing west, taking off runway two seven right. I'll show you later that we just need to maintain that runway heading from takeoff. Taxi line's going to go a little bit crazy here because it's asking us originally, re remember, to cross over runway 27 right and then come back onto it, which is a bit strange. So we're going to ignore that and just taxi onto the runway. Slow my Cessna down a little bit, like I said. It really, it's really eager to get up in the air. And there we go. We can just go for it here. We're on the runway. We're just going to maintain the same heading when we take it. Oh, what's this chap doing here? Oh, well, sorry. Thought you had gone. Obviously, in so oh, there he goes now. <laughs> in something like that sim, the controllers, the human controllers will be saying to you, hold on, you know, the runway's busy. Don't take off yet. ATC, default ATC, not so much. So I'm up in the air, climbed to just over a thousand feet, maybe 1,500 or so. Not going to worry about that. I'm just going to maintain the runway heading. You can see the runway still ahead of us, sir. It's a bit windy, so I'm being blown to the left at the moment. There we go. It's basically telling us to maintain, just acknowledge that. Maintain that Tower west departure. Now I'm being blown to the right. For west departure. Trying to get into external view. You can see my aircraft being blown. I'm not doing that myself. It is being blown about there. There we go. I'll just maintain that heading. Just trim a little bit just so I'm not climbing too vigorously. Although... I'm not, really. It's an okay climb. Never mind, that will do. There you go, just maintaining that runway heading. More or less. Less. It's really hot in this room at the moment. I've got my laptop in entertainment mode. The fans are blowing and it's melting me. The unfortunate thing, I knew that would happen with the, uh, well, laptop or PCs, in fact, they do get hot. Even the Xbox Series S gets hot in summertime. I have to move it well away from me. 
Whoa! Hold on there. Seems to be quite a lot of errant wind around. There you go, just come back to my right slightly, just to maintain that runway heading. Uh, we'll do. And I don't want to be climbing. Oh, trim, 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 trim. Bear with me while I get this trim under control. That'll do roughly. Just throttle back a little bit. Just not to over rev the, en the engine. All right, we'll just wait for ATC to come back to us and just say, you know, frequency change is approved. You're leaving our airspace. And then we can request, now let me just see, I need to come to my right a little bit, just to maintain that heading a little bit better. Then we can request a full stop landing back at Heathrow. Remember what it said before, it's important. Keep an eye on what, ah, oh, there we go. There you go. And uh, we'll just acknowledge that. Remember what 80s told us before, the active runways in use are 20, 27 left and 27 right. Runway 9 left and right are not in use, you can't land that way. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to tune, go to the nearest airport list, tune to Heathrow, and tune to Heathrow, well, just request a full stop landing from here. Keep an eye on my aircraft. Acknowledge that. Oh, wind. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn back towards... Let's hide that ATC now. I'm going to turn back towards the east. Might be better in that view. I get a clearer picture of what's going on. Back towards the east. Back towards Heathrow. And I'm going to do a quick... Pattern basically, she's asked me to land at runway 27. Remember, those are the active runways 27 right again. So, I'm gonna just do a quick pattern, I'll show you what that entails. Basically, it's crosswind, downwind, and base leg onto the airport and then onto your final approach for your chosen airport. So, I'm just gonna line up. I probably might even be able to do away with the crosswind leg. And just fly parallel to 27 right because Heathrow. Let's just see where it ends up. There's Heathrow right ahead of us, right here. So I can do away with a crosswind leg and just pretend now that I'm on the downwind or coming onto the downwind leg, which effectively means if I come back to the east there, I'm on the east heading. I can just fly parallel to the airport here on my downwind leg until. Sorry, I'm being blown around a lot. Till the runway is just behind me here. Oh, the joys of this. The wind effects in the Cessna have really ramped up quite a lot. I may re certainly have to revisit the video I did about reducing turbulence. It's okay, it's just a bit... I mean, even on a calm day, it seems a bit... OTT. I don't know how other people are feeling about that. Yeah, there should be some movement in the aircraft, but uh, it's a bit wild at the moment. It's actually someone commented on one of my other videos about turbulence, the turbulent video I did. Let me link that in the top right for you, just in case you haven't seen it. How to reduce turbulence, the overzealous turbulence in Flight Simulator. Apparently it doesn't work as well anymore, so I'll have to revisit that subject, maybe. Anyway, just flying on an easterly direction, in an easterly direction. Let's trim up so I don't lose altitude there. The Mac 2 joystick is highly sensitive, so even if you don't realise, you may be holding the joystick back or left or right slightly. So I often just have to take my hands off it. I don't have my Velocity 1 with me in London currently. 
And I'm missing it badly, especially when I'm flying Cessna. It's so much easier to fly these aircraft with a yoke. Especially the Velocity one with the trim wheel. But we'll do our best. It's good to practice with different controllers. After all, that's what I'm preaching. It's a good controller. Maybe I just need to put the sensitivities down because it's a little bit too oversensitive. The Mark II. Combine that with the winds we're getting. Anyway, we're on our crosswind, downwind leg now, rather, downwing. So we're just flying parallel to the airport. Once this is here, the airport's here, at the end of the runway. Whoa, wind. <laughs> Once this is in that, just past that right window, we can turn onto our base leg. Turning back towards the airport, wait until it comes into our right view again, and then turn onto our final. Very simple pattern flying here. Yeah? Still following ATC instructions, let's just bring that back up. Uh, why has it gone all the way to the top? And so traffic, left traffic pattern, which I believe I'm doing. Sort of flying a pattern to the left of the runway there. What are we doing? I come off my heading. No, flying to the east. That's good. My eyes were deceiving me again. Just waiting to that end of the runway, this far end of the runway, it's behind. So just remove that box there, get rid of ATC. It's behind this window, around about here, then we can fly onto our uh, base leg. Just turning back towards the airport. Land and city landmarks ahead of us there. You can see them coming into the distance. I was actually in the centre of London yesterday. I do have something special planned there. Sort of live views of London. Maybe I'll give you a couple of spoilers in, in the Discord over the coming weeks. But that's going to be an ongoing project. Because the landmarks are not that close together, you know. There we go. So it, she can see we're flying the pattern, and she's cleared us to land. Clear to land runway two seven right Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. So just acknowledge that. Just wait for that runway end of the runway to get behind that window. Ideally, probably around about here, but we'll see how it goes. Nicely trimmed at the moment. That's nice. A little bit fast though. I'm going to slow down just a wee bit there and alter my trim. Ideally you should be doing this when turning onto your base leg or final I believe, but it doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. Do what you need to do to configure your aircraft. I'll turn back towards the south here now. Turning onto our base leg of the pattern. So heading back towards the runway, which should come to the right of us. Just get my trim under control. It's a better view of oh, trim. Here we go. The joys of this. Mac 2 joystick using buttons for trim instead of the wheel. <laughs> I'm out of practice. But we're doing okay, I think. Come back to the south a little bit. There we go. That should be fine. We're slowing down nicely. You know what? It's going to take advantage to get to flaps 1. Uh, did I go to flaps 2? I did. Didn't mean to. Stage 2 flaps. Just stage 1 of flaps. It will flare, then come back to where we were. Runway, just, let's just line up better with that base leg. Just struggling, fighting the aircraft at the moment, but it's okay. There we go. Should have it back under control. There we go, line up better. Just a little bit more to our right there. 
Ah. Combination of those wind effects and using a different controller. It's taking its toll on me a little bit. There we go. Level flight. Spoke too soon. No, that should be okay. That should be fine. Just dabbing the trim there just to get it back to level flight. So it's not going. There we go. And you can see the runway is just to our right there. So I can start turning onto it soon. Blooming trim, come on. Been having trouble with this controller and trim. And the wind effects, I'm really going to have to revisit that video, aren't I? There we go. I think a few people are having trouble with trim recently, and I'm not surprised. It has changed somewhat. There we go. Hopefully. Keep saying there we go. Ah, I feel better. Just reduce that throttle more. Should lower our altitude and speed. So there's a runway ahead of us. Now let's take it down to flaps two. Stage two flaps, it will flare. Let it correct itself. Bit of trim, maybe. That should be fine. That should be fine. We've got a nice approach going on there now. Now we can control this now with throttle and stick. Need to bring our altitude down. That's okay, we can do that. Just gonna watch my speed. I don't want to over speed here. So just get to a better approach angle. And there's an aircraft just waiting to take off. We may just have to fly over him, I'm afraid. There we go. Speed's coming down nicely now. Unless you're going to go, oh, chop. Or oh, do I fly right into you? Obviously, when we do visit that sim in this Back to Basics uh, player controlled ATC, it'll be telling you, you know, you can't land yet. Someone's about to take off. Uh, the default ATC doesn't have that capability, really, I'm afraid. Unless you talk about ATC, uh, AI-controlled aircraft, of course, it may then. Well, there we go, just float over this runway. And ATC, oops, well, okay, that's alright. ATC should come back to us. Raise my flaps, slow down, there you go, now it's taking off. There you go, and we've still got our taxi ribbon enabled, but there's a turn off here I can take. I believe. Oh, now he's taking off. Lovely, lovely. Oh, we'll just keep it there for now. There you go, there's a taxiway's taking us a little bit further the taxi ribbon but i'm just going to ignore that because there's a turn off here i'm just obeying atc effectively and that taxi ribbon will catch up to us so don't worry if it's yeah i know do i need to acknowledge that i can't oh no oh let's give me never mind i didn't mean to do that acknowledge ground i kind of There we go. And then you can request a taxiway to your ramp. So let's just do tune ground. I came out of it a little bit. Taxi to parking. There we go. Ground Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray 
Gulf Sierra Taxi to parking. And then it gives us all these numbers again. Cross runways again, my goodness. <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> I'll acknowledge that. I'm not going to go on part. Goodness me. So listen, if you do go on park, maybe just don't cross runway 27 to go on park. Like I said, it's a bit errant, the default ATC when it comes to taxiing and parking, but you can adapt that and just park at your ramp rather than uh, go and cross an active runway. Just doesn't make sense. Anyway, there you go. That's back to basics 12. The basics of the default flight simulator ATC. Let me know your thoughts below. Give the video a like if it's been helpful. Many more in this series yet to come. Subscribe for more. And I'll be seeing you soon.